today we will talk about Casper again and we will explore it in a little bit more uh, de detail than I have provided in the past but that's just because I have some more information on it and uh, it is put together in a way that is pretty easy to, to, to understand uh, and then at the end of this I will also be uh, explaining why I think Casper can uh, hit at least 75 cents each in the next bull run as well. But a lot of people aren't as familiar with Casper as they are with other things like XRP, XLM, Quant, HBAR, um, and, and XDC. But I've gotten heavily into Casper over the last um, six months or so, and I am actually uh, expecting to continue to accumulate it as well, just because I believe it is so undervalued and it is very, very powerful, especially if and when their more significant partnerships actually become pu pu public. So... First of all, Casper. Oh, and uh, by the way, this entire map here uh, was actually put together by the the account XX on t t t Twitter. Or uh, so, Casper uh, concentrates on security, programmability, privacy, decentralization, and. scalability god okay so um to start uh it is a l1 chain network designed to accelerate enterprise and developer adoption it provides enterprise ready security scalability i just have to stop and then i just have to start over again good god okay and d d decentralization on a single protocol it has Turing complete smart contracts and a public chain with a permissionless mechanism as well. So if we look a little bit more into that uh, tech part, I uh, have some articles here that help uh, explain it a bit more. So um, first off, a B B B Byzantine fault tolerant network is uh, just explaining that it is designed in a way to continue operating even if some of its nodes fail or act po poorly. Um, this is uh, talked about a lot in crypto and uh, it's a thing that pops up just often enough to have he heard about it, but it's not typically well uh, explained or well understood. And I also found this article here that explains a lot. Um, so Casper is a, P P a POS consensus and web assembly based f platform for Turing complete smart contracts. Um, it has been one of the most well liked L1s since its uh, de 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 debut in March of 2021. And I will talk about that in my price analysis just because that has a lot to do with why a lot of people aren't interested in C Casper just because its price action hasn't been good, but it uh, came out right in a bull run and everything else along with it has g gone down since then. So, um, H Highway, which is uh, shown uh, somewhere on here, I don't know why I'm not seeing it, but H Highway is uh, the network's consensus protocol and it has some advantages over a conventional B B B Byzantine fault tolerance system. Highway enables networks to reach greater levels of finality which results in more blocks being completed and receiving approval from validators to be added on its chain. Then by expressing finality in ways that 
BFT models cannot, it provides flexibility as well. The correct by construction Casper research is the foundation of this technique. That is actually shown here, which uh, creates the entire Casper network itself. And that right there is what I was trying to find. Um, so uh, the Casper network is prepared for developer and enterprise adoption. Um, it is it is concentrating on predictable network costs, up gradable contracts, on-chain governance, privacy, flexibility, and developer-friendly languages as well. So that right there is a pretty good overview of the tech end of things and how Casper is not just um, a uh, carbon copy of another chain. It does have its own unique uh, design uh, features and advantages as well. So um, uh, where should we go next? So we have the uh, smart contracts and the uh, web assembly coding, which um, lead into the fact that businesses can build private or permissioned applications, which the advantages of that are upgradable contracts, predictable fees, d d d database, I hate that word, uh, increasing solutions, and uh, it ensures Casper can evolve as its uh, c customers do as well. So as far as uh, the actual um, Casper token goes, there uh, was an ICO and it has a, a post lockup period um, and it will list on other regulated platforms. I uh, buy all of my Casper uh, directly off of Uphold now. Um, it is offered on other things, but I just find it easier to just buy Casper directly on Uphold and uh, I can t t t take it off of there and put it in my Casper wallet where I earn um, about 10% APY on that and uh, that is not in a uh, d d decentralized exchange that is just by me uh, participating in a v v v v v v validator node so I earn 10% on that which is pr pretty impressive pr um, so as far as uh, the Casper y y utility goes um, and uh, especially because I was t t talking about its 10% APY it is uh, designed to reward validators and pays for computation computation of tr transactions by having predictable fees Serm serves as a medium of exchange between network participants um C casper labs is uh who is uh responsible for, 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 for casper and it has a lot of uh a lot of information on its site it's an off day guys i'm sorry so um then we have a grant program uh, it's interesting. So C Casper Labs partnered with the D D D DevX DAO to collaborate with the Emerging Technology Association, a Swiss association, to onboard prospective developers, researchers, and scientists who are looking for decentralized infrastructure project funding. And a bunch of the partnerships, um, I think IPWE is uh, probably one of the most interesting ones. Um, it is also uh, connected to Arrington Capital as well, which actually directly calls out its involvement with Ripple and XRP there. Um, and uh, it's also associated with Ch Ch Chainlink as well. I'm really only the most familiar with this IP we one uh, because that is a really interesting application of what um, Casper is actually trying to market its Casper network for. So um, IP we is um, a company 
that is uh, essentially concentrating on p- patents. So they have partnered up w- w- with Casper to help um, IP w- we p- 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 pioneer a improvement in order to, to protect, license, and trade intellectual property. Um, it does have a lot of information on them here. Um, essentially, those uh, patents and uh, intellectual property can and or will be uh, turned into NFTs um, so that it can be uh, re- re- represented on chain. Um, I don't really know that that's exactly how IPWE is actually doing it with C- Casper, but that would make sense uh, because in short, an NFT is um, pretty much a smart contract in and of itself. So um, I know that IPWE was supposed to come out and uh, announce an update on this and they have not yet, but um, it's... Uh, it is a very large um, opportunity in uh, this uh, financial services kind of crypto niche and uh, also directly capturing a market that is um, very, very valuable. I think uh, Kevin Cage talks about it a lot and uh, he has shown time and time again how much value can actually come on to Casper just off of patents. And it's really interesting because once they uh, put those um, patents on Casper, it essentially locks up um, that amount of Casper, which makes the remaining amount of of available Casper more valuable as well. So even though its tokenomics are not amazing, just with the amount of value and how it actually operates, it has a ton of potential there. So uh, this is actually from IPWE, but they have announced the largest enterprise chain deployment in history. Uh, And it's aiming to uh, launch an initial minting of over 25 million existing patent assets as NFTs. And all of this is with Casper Labs. So that's not as exciting as things like XRP and uh, and XLM and XDC that have these obvious uh, partnerships with uh, different parts of the overall finance industry worth trillions, but just with how Casper works, this alone could make it extremely valuable as well. So as far as the price uh, predictions and everything goes, um, the actual project launched in March of 2021, which we can roughly see that here on CoinMarketCap. Unfortunately, since then, uh, the price action has gone nothing but uh, way, way, way down. (laughs) Um, But if you turn this into a log scale, it clearly has a lot of patterns and trends here. And uh, if we just compare Casper to um, a previously uh, highly performing um, crypto asset with smart contracts, um, Cardano performed extremely well in that last bull bull run. Um, It pretty much came out of nowhere, and unfortunately, it hasn't really gone anywhere since then. Um, But just to make that comparison, Casper, um, even if it had the same market cap that Cardano did right now, it would have a 25x for about 75 cents each if and when it has the all-time high market cap that cardano had that's a uh, 271x for eight dollars and 34 cents each i personally think that is pretty reasonable um 
especially if you look at market cap, we're only at about a uh, 500, a 440, no, a 400 million market cap, uh, if that. Well, that's because I'm in log. So uh, it's only about 350, which is for this part of its industry, tiny. So I am very excited about Casper. Uh, I think it'll perform extremely well. And uh, I currently hold um, a modestly respectable amount of this, but I am uh, intending on increasing that a lot, especially while its actual price is uh, just around three cents right now. So that is exciting. 